Liam, these type of ties can always be awkward. How pleased were you with the job done in the second half there? Yeah, second half, obviously, we, we could have finished it off a little bit more emphatically when we missed a couple of daft chances where people are, you know, bordering on taking the nick a little bit. But as I said, you come in, it was probably when the draw came out, a lot of people would have looked at this as, as one of the banana skins, uh, especially on the run we've been having. But as I said, that it's one defeat in seven games now, so not another clean sheet, which, you know, like bosses, they come, you know, they come up with. I'm waiting all season for one and two come together. Um, nice to get some goals because of the chances we've missed in the last couple of games. Gets people confidence up. But uh, you know, pleased with the players. One thing I will say: a one nil down, one nil up. Dan Amford's pulled off an absolute top draw save, which could have made the game a lot differently. But to me, David Morgan was totally head and shoulders the best player on the pitch by a country mile. So um, pleased with his team effort and in the draw on Monday. What was said at half time, the goals came early on in the second half, didn't they? Was the kind of was the intent to start the second half as you did? Well I wasn't happy at half time, I just actually didn't didn't think we played with enough belief where we'd, we'd worked all week in training, actually trying to play down the size of the you know, the three centre halves and, and we never did it. We I don't think we believed in it. Once we scored the goal we then started doing it and then we did believe and we were breaking from you know, all the time, uh, down the sides and you know, that's the frustrating bit that you're asking them to do stuff where I think they're a little bit unsure what they should be doing. You know, at times in the first half we had my, a, a lot of opportunities to turn them down the sides, and it was like not really the belief of actually doing it. I'd prefer it to over it and let it run out of play, so actually it enables the back four to get high up the pitch because it's difficult defending down the slope. Uh, but you know, we got through, and that's the main thing, especially with the money at Ritard Stake. A couple of goals for Dion Charles. Past couple of games, he's been played as a central striker alongside Jack. Can you just explain kind of how you've tried to play in the past few day games and how that benefits him and the team? Well, uh, Dean scored the first, so Dion, Dion's never even tried to claim it. To be fair, I think it would have been me. I'd been celebrating in the other corner, but uh, so Dean's got the first. But yeah. Dion's got great pace, uh, It's what we've been working on is, is where his goal comes from, stop coming inside, get on the outside, use your pace, be direct. Last week I thought he had a stonewall penalty against Darlington when he's gone on the outside, he's pushed in the back. Today he's gone on the outside, scored a great goal. So, uh, Personally speaking, I actually think he's got a lot of really good attributes to be a striker. Uh, but the first and foremost, he works extremely hard when he's up the top of the pitch. You mentioned David Morgan. Um, is his influence something that we can kind of see more of? Do you think is it something you've been working more on with him in terms of controlling the play more? I, I just think he's a really, really good player. I said I, I'm not dismissing Lynchy because Lynchy's worked extremely hard today. I, I just think Morgan has got a little bit of a common influence on the team. He's a little bit more of, uh, how would you say, he'll be competitive but then we'll actually get us playing. Some, some of the balls he put in the second half down the sides. But between the two of them, like in the last few few weeks, if you go from Spennymore, you go to FC United, you go to Darlington last week and, and today, everyone always has extra players in the middle. We're, we're trying to be brave, playing with two against three. And the, the work rate out of the two of them has been phenomenal. An unchanged team today in terms of the lineup and also the shape. Do you think things are becoming into more of a settled pattern now? Yeah, well, as you said, you can only get better by naming the, ch t uh, the same teams. I said things have fell, whereas we're playing like Devan had a position on the left because Brad wasn't fit. Uh, now Brad, Brad is fit and then Devan can go back in his natural position, no surprise he's got chipped in with a couple of goals for us. Uh, down that side when you've got Brad and, and Regan you've got a bit of quality and you've got a great pace and good defensive ability and on the, on the flip side Jordan does play uh, and Devan can play so the balance is coming, a uh, little bit of confidence, a couple more wins and you know you'd like to start thinking we'll start climbing up the table. You touched on the confidence there, as well as getting through to the next round, do you think this win can be important in terms of the season as a whole? Alan, every win's important, you know we go to Hulk at all boys and it's to me it's hugely important, you know people know me so that, you know I always want to set out to win a try and win a trophy, the first trophy at any club, whether it, what, I know it's, you know in effect it's, I've been here before and won trophies but the first trophy at any spell is the most important one because it gets them feeling the taste of winning 
uh, and I, you know, I want to go and try and win a county cup, whether it's the Lancashire Cup, whether it's the Liverpool Cup, whether it's both. You know, I can't beat playing games and you can't beat winning, so you know, that's my intentions. A couple of ins and outs yesterday, uh, Elliot Osborne's gone on loan to Stockport, Bauer Bosman's come in um, and Regan Oval's extended his loan until the end of the season. Uh, just explain a bit about the comings and goings and also how pleased you are uh, that Regan's extended his stay. Well, as I said, Regan is obviously a player I've seen an awful lot of purely by watching Niall uh, play for Accrington. Regan's a bit older than him, but I did see playing lots and lots of times and you see he's been good around the place, he's playing football, he's getting games. It's only going to help him. By helping him, it helps us, and, and also long term, it helps Accrington. So it ticks all the boxes. Got to say thanks to Coley for helping us out massively, allowing it to happen. Uh, you know that's important. Uh, Elliot has been, as a lad, different class. Uh, he's probably been a touch unlucky that he's been out the side, but that's only because we we, we play with the two in the middle, and Morgan and Lynch had the shirts, and you, know, you look at the work ethic from them. I said that, you know. I I can't see me breaking it up and Elliot just probably just wants to play he's had a loan spell at Stockport before done really really well so you know as a lad I, I, again I couldn't ask him any more from him because he is a good kid and you know it's hard to say when you've got good lads and, you, and you're leaving them out uh, he's got the opportunity to go back to Stockport so I wasn't in the position to stand in his way and you know I hope he goes there and does really well. Thanks,